Now we come to the liquid gas transformation. Now liquid gas transformation in, in some detail we have already discussed. <clears throat> so, so still, so it is liquid gas, liquid gas equilibrium. <clears throat> we have discussed it earlier that if there is a if there is a bell jar and within this we keep say a petri dish a flat dish okay in which i put some liquid and i have a pressure gauge here then what happens is is that the molecules of the liquid evaporate and we can find that the 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 pressure gauge reading goes up the pressure goes up and and we have already discussed that this is equal to pv is equal to nrt if temperature is constant r is a universal constant v is constant it is equal to the volume of the bell jar then it is only due to increase in n that we can expect p to increase and that is what exactly happens right now the vapor pressure that develops here okay here and we have also discussed that this is not a static equilibrium rather some molecules of from the bulk of the liquid they keep on getting transformed into vapor by vaporization while some of the molecules from the vapor they start hitting it the liquid and start getting converted into 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 liquid they move into the bulk of the liquid and and a point comes when this gauge stops moving up and that is the point where the equilibrium equilibrium is established okay so so p increases as n increases due to evaporation okay and this pressure at this temperature that develops here is called vapor pressure the the pressure due to wa water vapor the pressure due to water vapor is called is called vapor pressure okay it is called vapor pressure at a given temperature at a given temperature okay as we increase the temperature you'll find more of the liquids evaporating and ultimately a new equilibrium gets established and you'll find the pressure to be higher in that case okay as temperature increases more molecules of the liquid molecules of liquid evaporate evaporate and the pressure increases the pressure of the meter increases a new equilibrium gets established a new equilibrium gets established and a new equilibrium gets established at a higher pressure okay at a higher pressure so vapor pressure is sensitive to temperature okay therefore vapor pressure pressure depends on depends on number 1 the temperature number 2 is the nature of the liquid okay we will we'll soon discuss what that that means nature of the liquid 
or or i should say vapor pressure depends on depends on number 1 number 2 it also depends on nature of the liquid it depends on the nature of the liquid okay it doesn't depend on or it is independent of of the volume of the bell jar okay and it is independent of of the amount of liquid in petri dish amount of liquid in petri dish okay now we come to different kinds of liquid for example you put water here and then after some time since the temperature remains the same as the ambient you replace it with say ethanol you'll find the vapor pressure is higher fine the vapor pressure will become higher so so the at the same temperature at the same temperature or i i'll utilize this part of the board at the same temperature at the same temperature vapor pressure of of ethanol is greater than the vapor pressure of water water okay now what happens due to that so what does it indicate about ethanol that ethanol does ethanol has has or ethanol is more volatile than water more volatile than water and the second thing so so it if at the same temperature more of the molecules of the ethanol in the liquid phase convert into the vapor phase fine now if that is the case as i start raising the temperature which will start boiling first ethanol so the second thing that it indicates is ethanol should be ethanol has a lower boiling point than boiling point than water water right so so we reach the conclusion the liquid which has more vapor pressure at the same temperature which has more vapor pressure at the same temperature at the same temperature has has number 1 temperature is more volatile is more volatile than the other and has lower boiling point boiling point than the other right fine now let us try to let us try to understand what the boiling point is okay so what is a boiling point what should be the boiling point see as we raise the temperature of the liquid its vapor pressure starts increasing the vapor pressure starts increasing and we are talking under the atmospheric pressure conditions that means when the liquid is is open to the atmosphere and maybe you are sort of heating it with some lamp or some burner okay so say something like this 
okay suppose you are heating this this water and obviously maybe maybe there's some tripod or or something that is holding it like this okay so so if this is being heated what happens the vapor pressure starts increasing with the increase in temperature we just discussed that here and a point comes when it becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure okay a, a temperature comes where it becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure so what happens instead of evaporation even the molecules from the bulk they start getting converted into the the vapor phase okay they start becoming vapor and that is the temperature at which the boiling is said to have started okay so so the temperature at which and and, and now come to one more thing it is at that temperature where the vapor pressure of this is equal to that right so at that point the gas as well as the liquid phase they are in equilibrium fine so we have we have two definitions for the boiling point one is the one is the <coughs> one is the equilibrium equilibrium uh, aspect of it and the other is the vapor pressure aspect of it right so so the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the vapor pressure the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal to becomes equal to that of the atmospheric pressure is called the boiling point is called the boiling point of the liquid it's called the boiling point of the liquid okay that's called the boiling point of the liquid or we can say that the temperature at which the temperature at which the liquid and the vapor phase are in equilibrium is called the boiling point okay it's called the boiling point fine this is called the boiling point fine they are in equilibrium now let's say if we if if it's not reached the boiling point and you you are keeping the liquid in an open atmosphere that is there is no bell jar it is a room that to not a very closed room rather a ventilated room what will happen okay what will happen so so liquid kept in a ventilated room okay so say the liquid is kept in a ventilated in a ventilated room so what happens if it is kept in a room and and it is open then what happens you you never see that the evaporation ceases 
in the bell jar kind of thing we saw that the liquid stops evaporating after some point that was because the vapor was also striking the liquid surface and it was getting converted into liquid and at equilibrium the rate of the liquid becoming the vapor and vapor becoming the liquid was the same okay so now what happens the petri dish is there in the open so so what will happen see this is a huge volume right you can consider it to be an infinite volume so what happens whatever you do howsoever howsoever or or how how howsoever fast the evaporation is you will never be able to fill the room with so much of molecules that the vapor pressure the pressure of the room goes up correct so what happens in the open system the rate of evaporation always remains greater than the rate of condensation liquid becoming liquid becoming vapor is evaporation that is evaporation while while vapor becoming liquid is vapor becoming a liquid is condensation is condensation so whatever we do okay whatever be the amount of liquid will never be able to fill the whole of the space or or the universe with the molecules of the liquid why because it's an open system the molecules which evaporate have have say millions of kilometers to travel fine so in an open system system the rate of evaporation evaporation is always greater than is always greater than the rate of condensation the rate of condensation okay so evaporation is always greater than the rate of condensation and the system never reaches an equilibrium okay and the sys and the system never reaches an equilibrium it will never reach an equilibrium right now what happens if it never reaches the equilibrium then the evaporation will continue and eventually the dish will be dish will be devoid of any liquid right ultimately ultimately all of the liquid gets evaporated correct now in this case if you find out different liquids say ethanol it will evaporate faster fine you take more amount of the same liquid it will take more time to evaporate if you put the same liquid at higher temperature it will evaporate faster so here something something different starts happening right so the evaporation the evaporation in the open system number 1 depends on the nature of liquid number 2 the temperature of liquid i should say i should not say the evaporation the time for the total time for evaporation the total time for 